ecstatic that you enjoyed it so much. And if you've got any other good stuff, feel free to bring it up to the club. On it! Finally, Rika's got her first friend. But this friendship might not last if Rika can't produce another movie. Think hard, Rika. What's another fun one? My Baby Maker can't be this cute as another homoerotic masterpiece, but it's out of print. And Squid or Octopus Don't Make Me Choose goes right for the tentacle rape. <laughs> this is so unfair! What's wrong now, me? Don't act like you don't know! You're always slamming my dating games and calling them creepy as hell. What makes Rika's gay shows any better? Hmm. Homo Game Club is about the importance of true friendship, a theme that's relevant to this club. Don't compare it to the ridiculous filth that's on your computer 24-7. There's no comparison. Hey, you haven't even played one yet, so how would you know? If your dumb games are so appropriate, then try reading one of the scenes out loud for us. Huh? Why don't you do the one you're on right now? Judging by your expression, you can't wait to share it. Um, this particular scene isn't the most accurate representation of the game. That doesn't matter. I could read any scene out of Homo Game Club out loud and it'd still seem normal. There's a lot more to it than just getting reamed in the forest. <gasps> All right, then. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> oh, I remember this part. I'm ready. Hit play. No matter the cost, even if the entire world's against the two of us, I'll never stop protecting you, Fumio. You dummy, you know that's my line. There's nothing that we can't conquer as long as we have each other. That was the ending. Of course it sounds cool and dramatic. Let's try out a different scene. This one. Ain't no one gonna break my stride, and ain't no one gonna slow me down. I've got to keep on moving no matter what stands in my way. Remember? Don't ever be ashamed of who you really are inside. Everyone will have their doubters, but you can't let anyone else decide who you are. No, not another cool one! Who knew guys could be such smooth talkers? Don't underestimate me, Sal. How did she already memorize the entire movie? Now then, I think I've proven my point well enough. Your turn. <laughs> let me hear a scene from one of your dating games. <laughs> What's wrong, sandbags? If there's nothing to be ashamed of, then you've got nothing to be afraid of. The dialogue in this scene should do nicely, whenever you're ready. Go on. Do it. Now! Fine, no big deal. It's just like the movie. It's not like there's going to be anything remotely dirty. Besides, a girl ought to be able to say whatever she likes without having catty people judge her. By the time I'm through, I'll prove to you that one day I suddenly got a blonde little sister with pigtails and I can't take it anymore is a work of art. Maybe even a masterpiece! Is that really the title? Okay, here we go. Big brother, give me your big, juicy, thick... Uh... What? Big brother, give me your big, juicy... Juicy, uh, you're, um, thick. Louder, clearer, and more feeling. How about using some emotion? <laughs> big brother, I want you to give me your big, juicy, thick and drench me with your hot, sticky until I'm gasping for air there. I f***ing said it! Wow, she really did it. <laughs> did you think you were going to win every single battle against me? Gotta hand it to you, Meat. I never thought you'd say that. Yeah? Too bad. Don't underestimate me. More importantly, I've uh... proved that my dating games aren't embarrassing at all. Oh, okay. I guess you kind of beat me this time. What? At least look at my face when you admit it. Rika's jealous that even her supercharged libido can't match up with yours. Hmm? That was impressive, Senna. I had no clue you were oozing with so much sexual energy. Yeah, no kidding. Who would have thought? I certainly have a better understanding of why your gaming habits are what they are. So I'm sorry for making fun of you. Huh?